confidence intervals for a population mean. Let's subject to construct a confidence interval for a population mean using technology. We will look at Minitab, StatCrunch, and the TI-84. We'll begin with the example involving text messages. If you recall, this is an example that we did in a previous video. We're asked to construct 90% confidence interval for the population mean text messages per month for a typical college student. Here we are in Minitab. We want to construct the 90% confidence interval for the mean number of ticks. We go to Stat, Basic Statistics, One Sample T. We have Summarized Data, so we click Summarized Data, Sample Size, 500, Sample Mean, 729. Sample standard deviation was 150. Then we want to go to options and we want to change the 95% to a 90. Click OK. Click OK again. And in the session window we see our sample mean, our sample standard deviation. This is the standard error and this is our confidence interval. Here we are in StatCrunch. We want to construct the 90% confidence interval for the mean number of ticks. So we go to Stat, T-Statistics, one sample, and we have summarized data. So we want summary. We put in our sample mean. 729, sample standard deviation 150, and our sample size which is 500. Hit next, change it from hypothesis test to confidence interval and we want a 90 percent so we change this to 0.90 then we hit calculate. This is our X bar this is the standard error. This is our degrees of freedom. Here's the lower limit. Here's the upper limit. Using the TI-83 calculator, we go to Stat, move it from Edit to Test, then we scroll down to number 8, which is T-interval hit enter. If we had raw data we would put it in the list here. We have summarize so we go to stats, hit enter, X bar which is 729. This is the sample standard deviation which is 150. N is 500. The confidence level is 90% so we hit calculate. Here's our lower limit, here's our upper limit. Here's a next example. If you recall this is the Facebook example where a random sample of 40 users from the website produces a sample mean of 130.8 friends find a 95 percent confidence interval from you, the population mean number of friends. Here we are in Minitab. Once you put the data in the column, it's always a good idea to label the variable. I called it Facebook Friends. We want to construct the 95% confidence interval. So we go to Stat, Basic Statistics, One Sample T. We have data in columns. We must click our cursor inside here so our variable pops up over here. We select it. We go to Options. Make sure this says 95%. We hit OK. Hit OK again. So in the session window we see that 
x bar is 130.8. This is a S, our standard deviation. This is the standard error. And here is our confidence interval. Here we are in StatCrunch. We're going to construct the 95% confidence interval. We go to Stat, T Statistics, one sample with data. We select the variable, hit Next, change it from hypothesis test to confidence interval. Make sure this says 0.95 because we're doing a 95%. Then hit Calculate. We see this is our X bar. This is our standard error, our degrees of freedom. Here's the lower limit. Here's the upper limit. Using the TI-84 calculator, once you go to STAT and you enter your data into list 1, you hit STAT again, move it over to TESS, and again we want number 8, T interval, hit enter. This time we want to hit data. Our data was in list 1. We're doing a 95%, so we have to change this to 0.95. Then we hit calculate and enter. There's X bar. This is S. Sample standard deviation. Here's our lower limit. Here's our upper limit. Here's our last example. These are 17 pennies that have been weighed and measured in grams. And all the pennies were printed up after 1982. We want to construct a 99% confidence interval for the population mean weight of pennies minute after 1982. In Minitab, once we put the data into our column, it's always a good idea to label the variable. I'm going to call it weight. Because our sample size is only 17, we must check to see if the original population is normal. And the way we check that is by using our normal probability plot. So we go to graph, probability plot, hit OK, select our variable, and we hit OK. We see all the points are within our 95% bands. So this gives evidence that this sample is coming from a population that is normal. So we may continue. So we go to STAT, basic statistics, one sample T. We need to click in this box and select weight. So we hit options, change it from a 95 to a 99. Hit OK. Hit OK again. Here's our confidence interval. Here's our sample mean. Here's our standard deviation S. And here's our standard error. In StatCrunch, to check to see if this sample comes from a population that's normal, we go to graphics. We go to QQ plot. Select our variable, hit create graph, and, and we don't have the bands like we do in Minitab. We look to see if the data follows this linear line. And according to that, according to this graph, it looks linear. So this gives evidence that this sample is coming from a population that is normal. Okay, so we can continue. We go to STAT, T statistics, one sample with data. Select the variable, hit next, change it to a confidence interval, 
and change our level to 99 percent, 0.99. Then we hit calculate. Here's our sample mean. This is our standard error. Degrees of freedom. Here's our lower limit of the confidence interval and our upper limit. Using the TI-84 calculator, we want to make sure once we put the data into list one, we want to check to see is this sample coming from a population that's normal. And we're going to look at the probability plot. The way we see that is we have to go into the stat plot, which is second y equals. We hit enter. We want to turn it on, hit enter, where it says type. We want to move it to the last icon, this icon here. Hit enter. It says data list, make sure this says list one. Then we hit zoom and we're going to look for zoom stat, which is number nine. Hit enter. And as long as this looks linear, this gives evidence that the sample is coming from a population that's normal. So we can continue. We go to stat, test, and number eight, T interval. Hit enter. We have raw data. So we hit enter make sure it says data. It's in list one. We do need to change the confidence level to 99. Then we scroll to calculate and hit enter. Here's our 99 percent confidence interval. Here's X bar and here's S. Thanks for watching.